What do I do when I'm not in class? I eat, drink water, uh, try and breathe and relax. Um, but honestly, I like working on a monologue or trying to learn my sheet music or the notes or the words like I'm doing right now for a studio, which is in a half an hour that I'm going to try and sing at. But we'll see how that goes. Um, honestly, just trying to keep my life together. Um, for preparing for an audition, um, they usually put out a sheet telling you exactly what you need uh, for the audition. So for Faustus, for example, since we made a contemporary version of a classical show, what the director wanted was basically take a monologue, say something from Shakespeare, and uh, we had to perform that and then also have to take that monologue and then translate it into modern English and present it that way. And it gave like a real clear idea that we knew what we were saying and we knew how to say it in different ways. And then um, when preparing for that as well, you perform it in front of professors who are not part of the project. They can give you a real good uh, viewpoint on what needs to be fixed, what is really good, what you should focus on more, stuff like that. And uh, you also show it in front of other like peers uh, all the time to get their ideas. And then sometimes you look at their pieces too to help them as well. So currently I'm in Assassins and I'm playing the role of John Wilkes Booth. And what did it take to get to that role? Oh boy. And I just found out everything about him, like his life, where he was born, who his parents are, what his parents did for a living, where they lived, how I feel his gestures would be, what his personality would be, how he'd act towards the other Assassins. Um, and the show is you take all the assassins from a different time period, but you stick them in this realm or this room together, and it's like, congratulations, you're all here at the same time. Talk about it. Like, here's what you did. And um, some of them are timid or they are kind of confused, but Booth is sort of the ringleader that's kind of like, you're here for a reason because you changed history, you made history, you're going to make history. And he's, I think he's the most confident one out of all that because he was the pioneer, he was the first one to do it. Like, Big Abe Lincoln. Boom. When I'm not dancing, I am vlogging on a vlog that I started this year in my dorm, and that's been a really awesome adventure. I am also involved with crew, and I go to a weekly Bible study with some really amazing girls, and I'm also teaching dance at my studio I grew up with, at other studios around the area, and spreading my knowledge and my love of my favorite art form to people younger than me. You have to realize that, like, you're doing what you love every single day. Like sure it might be stressful and it's piling on top, but, like you're doing what you love. Sure I'm busy and I don't have a lot of time, but I'm singing and acting and dancing and spending with like awesome people all day. Like I can't, so I can't really complain. I mean, what's to complain about that? It's, that's what I'm doing for school. That's, that's awesome.